There was actually a, someone I watched too who looks into a bunch of the data or the metadata between streaming sites, and apparently there are more streamers out there than there are people actually willing to watch said streams, regardless of the platform too. Like Twitch is getting to that point as well. But it's especially bad for platforms that are newer as well, like Mixer. Apparently there are too many people trying to stream on the platform when there are not enough people to watch them. Oh, I know what Oh, you're talking about that. You're talking about that, Fox. Okay. Okay, bud. Yo, yeah, okay. We'll get right on that. I understand the... Uh, why am I spotted from what? I just don't understand. It can't be Batflyer. Um, I understand the appeal that people have for wanting to stream on Mixer, especially if they're newer streamers, but I think Mixer, as a platform, put all of their eggs in one basket. I don't know how he got me when I'm way around that corner. They put all of their eggs into one basket by trying to get major streamers to their platform, hoping it would bring over more people to be willing to use the platform. But at the same time, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. What's up, Quincy? Sorry, man. Was on a little bit of a tirade. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Quincy. Just playing the game, bud. Just playing the game. No ill intention. Hello. Busting through the door. I think we had this discussion a while ago, too, talking about it. Like, apparently, ever since Shroud signed that big multi million dollar deal to switch to Mixer, his views overall, in terms of the whole banking on it, was to get people to move all of his audience from Twitch to Mixer. Apparently that didn't pan out at all. Apparently he's at like pretty low numbers or is what people are saying overall. Granted, I'm not sure if that's... What? That guy is really committed to the bet. And granted, I'm not sure if that's good in terms of numbers he's pulling Mixer-wise, but at the same time, it's not like it really matters because he doesn't have to make too much money anymore off of subs alone. He just makes it straight off of that deal in the contract he signed. But, I mean, I, I've said it many times before, if either, like, any of us in here, man, any of us, if any of us in here ever got offered that much amount of money, regardless of the platform, people would take it. People would take it. So good on him. He did the financially responsible thing. I just hope he's actually, like, spending his money and investing it well. But it probably isn't helping him. In terms of just like gaining viewers because ever since he switched to mixer like i used to be subbed to him way back when he was a cs pro still and i used to watch him just for playing cs and i kind of slowly stopped watching him after that but i guarantee you like if he was still on twitch today it would probably be beneficial more for him and viewership wise because ever since he did switch to mixer i just don't care Right? Like, I used to like watching him every now and then just to see what he was doing, but I have never had... Wow, I thought he saw those mines. I've never had that initial, like, want to go to Mixer just to watch one fucking person. Because that's not the... It's not the first thing I think of, right? When you think of watching someone streaming, what is the first thing you generally think of? Twitch. Because it is a big, well-known platform... Most people will instantly gravitate towards that instead of just being like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to watch someone on Mixer today. But some people do. Good for those people, again. But I'm just saying it's not the norm. Exactly. It doesn't have the mass appeal, nor do I think it has a mass enough of a following to really warrant people watching things on the platform other than, like, a few specific streamers. 
Right, exactly. They shouldn't care about viewership if they have that stable income, and I'm pretty sure that's the case right now, currently. What do you call a party for sellouts? A mixer. Ha! <laughs> ah! I like your jokes, Fluffy. But thank you, Fluffy. Welcome back. <laughs> Appreciate the reset. Thank you. Then you got Dr. Disrespect roasting every platform possible. Yeah, but that's just the, the character he plays too, right? Character that he plays can do that. Edgy. Is there literally a dude up here? What am I hearing? Or is Fido just shooting me for no reason? Because that's kind of annoying. Stop it, Hunter. Doing something with the Undertaker? What? <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, what's up? Also, you just moved out. Wait, from your wife two hours ago, and it feels good. Oh well. Hey man, I'm happy for you, especially if you had a, an abusive relationship in some ways. Like, that's good for you, man. Absolutely. Happy for you, man. As long as you're happy. Again, I, I would not be surprised if he did consider that much amount of uh, money. Uh, much amount of money. If they did offer it to him. I don't see why he wouldn't accept it. Because again, you or I would take that deal in a heartbeat. Steaming with WWE. Nice. Actually, that's kind of fitting if you think about it. Dr. Disrespect as a character in terms of, like, wrestling. How just the character plays with that sort of angle is, is interesting. That works, surprisingly. Ooh, that's a good one as well, Templar. Still 3D spotted. Killed in action by what? What blew me up? I honestly don't know. Well, good for you also. Definitely, man. Killed by action, seriously. Too much fucking action.
No, I uh, honestly, I would not be surprised, chat. You know, on the subject, because we're still on it, I guess. I would not be surprised that if Shroud's contract, whenever it is up, I don't know what his contract is like, obviously. Probably more of a personal thing. Whatever it is, I guarantee you that whenever it's up, if he's still streaming at that time, he will probably come back to Twitch. I don't see why he wouldn't. He's already financially secure. Oh, I almost got that off. That was like 0.1 milliseconds. But yeah, he would probably come back. It would just make more sense for him because I guarantee you he probably likes the platform here much more than Mixer. Probably knocked, yes, now that you mention it. It probably was the plane. Right, and not to mention publicity too, right? It would, it would make a lot of sense. You said he doesn't miss Twitch, nobody believed him. I bet he probably does. Hey, Nido! Yo, 10,000? Converted from a Twitch Prime to a Tier 1, though, but thank you, man. I appreciated that very, very much, dude. It's very nice, 10,000. Welcome back, my man. Okay, that's like 8,000 people. Not see that guy, that was a good spot. Is the GPU running? Oh, the GPU is running fine. Uh, I honestly don't know what it was in terms of whatever my problem was 10,000 all those like weeks ago that I was having. I'm honestly at the point where I want to believe it was uh, the old gremlins and whatever I did fixed it. It got to a point though, whenever I was swapping GPUs to fix some of my issues, I uh, it just wouldn't boot. So I reset the CMOS battery and ever since then, things have been fine. So I honestly, I don't know. Maybe something built up static wise in the CMOS battery whenever I was doing my case swap, but whatever it was, seems to be gone. All of those issues, you know, it's one of those things where I did so many fixes that I'm not entirely sure which one it was that did, did the job overall. Uh, Vassalor, I'm using a BPHS-1. I have it listed down below. Sorry, it's in the uh, channel description. It's an Audio-Technica BPHS-1. It's technically a broadcasting headset. Used in, like, uh, esports for broadcasters. Generally, you see people wear them. Like, if Milos was here, he could probably tell you what it's like. I mean, he is one of the casters still for, uh, for just one of the analysis people for Siege, so he's probably warden them like hundreds of times at ESL events, or more. Well, thank you, Olsa. That's, again, uh, even getting gift subs, like what you just said right there, 10 to 25, that means a lot, dude. That is very kind, man. I appreciate that very, very much. That means a lot. And thanks, man. <laughs> I mean, since I played a good Battlefield game, uh, but that's there's arguments again to be had for some people. But thanks, dude. That really does mean a lot. Thank you. You use the mic in my headset? Yes, I do. Because it's a XLR broadcasting headset. It has the mic attached to it. 
So after using the microphone and getting my Go XLR to it and being able to just have an EQ with it, and after EQing it a bit, getting a good compression on it, uh, I think it sounds pretty good. Granted, stock, without any EQ, it's a little weird. I would say with this microphone definitely needs some EQ. Ow. Whoa, you're not around. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> there it is. Get down, chat. Just throwing subs. <laughs> Thank you very much, Olsa. That's very nice, dude. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. That's so nice. Thanks, man. $200. About that, yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, for how many years I've had this headset, worth it. My only problem is I've had to replace the cable now twice. But I've had this headset for God, how many years now? Four? Four years? But in four years, only having to replace the cable twice isn't bad. That's the one thing I will say that I like about it is that even though it has a replaceable cable, the cable is kind of expensive on its own. It's like a $40 cable. It's still well worth the money I paid for the investment. And thank you again also for your resub too, man, for four months. Thanks, man. I've always said I will probably go back and play some BC2 here on stream eventually. I did it for part 1000. Uh, so I'll probably do it again here soon just because I've had the hankering to kind of go back and play some more I'll probably end up reinstalling it here at some point again $40 cable does it light up well here's the thing the main issue is that it's XLR it's XLR based and it has a proprietary connector right so that's why plus Audio Technica knows they can get away with that shit they're like oh your cable broke that's another $40. That's proprietary, boy. You can't replace that with anything else. You actually invest money? Me currently? No, I do not invest into anything currently. Even though I probably should at some point. Generally, I would say it's pretty good to invest when there are large amounts of money at play. <laughs> but I think more important, like, just being financially responsible first is, for, is really more important in that aspect. If only Audio-Technica didn't have good headsets, you'd give them a stern talking to, right? How dare you have good headsets? Twenty twenty no. That's no. 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 We are not. That is a uh, YouTube rumor. And you should never listen to YouTube comments because they are not real. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. No. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's one of those things, Vassalor, that I always feel bad recently, because my weekends in these past couple of weeks, like the three week, four weeks, I don't know, it's been a while. Okay. Well, that sucks for that freaking bomber. These past couple of weeks anyway have been super busy for me, so being able to stream in the morning just hasn't been a thing I can do. Uh, but luckily today... I don't have much going on. I only have plans later in about four and a half hours. So I have plenty of time today to stream. Hey, Arsenic, what's the best assault rifle now? I won't say there is a best one. 
And then there's another 10 gift subs by Ulsa. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh, that's so nice, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's extremely generous. Thank you. Just something I don't talk about, Vassalor. I never have. Past six years, I just don't talk about that stuff because usually when I stream, I just want to play games, interact with people. Keep the real life separate. However, if you uh, do want a good joke, type an exclamation mark occupation. That's still probably one of my favorite commands we've had all of these years. Oh, that guy got clothesline. Jesus. Lee! All of these people here? Get it, I'm spotted. Well, round two, I guess. Apparently all the planes have it out for me today. What is going on? How many people are on these damn roofs? Roof dads, as Kia would call them. Is it, more re it is more reasonable to believe that Musk actually uses a voice changer pretending to be a guy. Well, what can I say? I mean, uh, totally human. See you later, Vassalor. Uh, type 2A. <laughs> also, don't worry about it, man. It's just, it's very nice. Just, it's such a generous thing of you to do, man. It's all good, man. My hamster, well, it's true. Nobody knows that you're a hamster on the internet as well. And I have no more ammo. I thought that would hit him. What? <laughs> Instead, my rocket hit the ivy and took all of the splash damage. Great game. Good job. Objective is now ours. We have taken objective. 
That is through smoke, and that is probably third person. No, that's just through smoke. That's what that is. Not sure, Cauteris, but I don't really talk about it because, I mean, one, I don't do it, and two, I don't care to really bring it up. People doing their own damn time is up to them. <laughs> Just don't have no reason to talk about it. <laughs> Guy is still in here. He's probably up. I hear him. He's like right. Hey, Nido! And ten thousand is back with Twitch Prime, even though he just. What? Understand, y'all. Need ammo so I can take care of that. Here, he's right there. That guy is in like a perfect spot where there is no angle to shoot him. Maybe if I go back here, I can get one. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it did. Okay. Now that wasted a fuck ton of time just trying to kill two people who were being a bunch of weenies. But yeah, you sleep well, Fox. Take it easy, bud. running yep what do you know that wasn't at me I was actually totally expecting that to be right at me I guess he's going for tank and stud What's up, Marquez? How you doing, man? We have taken objective Teza. More sneaky snacks somewhere, or a dude who's gonna be in the back with a dang old MMG lighting me up through a bunch of. I can't wait. Hey Jedi, good to see you, man. My ammo reloads are glitching. No, it's the. I'm reload canceling way too soon. Oh, 
Oh, I know, man. Semi-autos are back, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Back to B. Is there a guy over there on the right? I'm worried about that. Eh, or in the church, considering they're smoking it. Wonderful. Gavera 1 5? Yeah, the Gavera 1 5 is nice. Actually, I'm curious because in patch 6.0 and onward, I wouldn't mess it with. Didn't I just select A? Okay, sure. Uh, I've been messing around with the Breta, so I'm curious to see how the Breta is back to normal or how it feels. I really should start giving all of the other weapons another shot again instead of just the ones that I love. It's just that I've missed them for so long that I haven't been able to use them. So I try to use them as much as I can. <laughs> we have this many people here and we're still not taking it. There must be an influx of people under that bridge. Red is still good. Okay. At least it feels pretty good so far. Actually, I can't tell if even the recoil is decreased on it either way. I can't remember how I have mine set up for the Breta. I think it's three right, one left that I have for the Breta. I'm not sure which one that is, though terms of bursting. I don't remember if that's the faster bursts or which one it is overall. Oh, and god damn it. Okay. What level am I? 171. Now 
That was like completely out of everything. Jesus. Oh, I usually run mint stock on everything. If I can unlock the mint stocks, they look so much better. I've always said before, I hate gold stocks in this game. They look awful. Yeah, customizable secondaries would have been nice, too. I'm not sure why they didn't include that in this game. I guess it was more prudent to put it in the primaries. Even then, I would say the primary customization is kind of lacking, too, in terms of aesthetics, but whatever. I mean, I like having the old, uh, or at least the chromed out 1911, but that was more of a having origin access thing. It sucks that other people can't get it, though, for those who missed out on Origin Access from the start. Got good. I think a lot of people wish that, Zach, definitely. It's one of those things that just in terms of the development and the process time of this game... And how things really turned out, we'll never know. Like, you, we just don't have that sort of insider information. We never will. Maybe, like, years down the line, if they ever do some sort of documentary or documentation process of why the games were released the way they were, we will have a better understanding. But for the most part, if I'm making pure conjecture and speculation, it's, it's the publisher. It's EA. Meet your quotas. Get your money fast. Take the money and run. If you just happen to make a good game for your consumer in the long haul, good. But as the publisher, that's not your priority anymore. It's more about getting a game out there to make you money now. Meet your quarterlies. More viewer than PG, more viewers than the PGL Gears Five final. Ah, uh, wow. To be fair, today I learned that there is a competitive esports market for Gears. Today I learned. I would also kind of agree with that too, Quincy, yeah. It has been very much proven, at least to me, in the past couple of years in terms of how the design of the game has gone, that they're really more basing their... how the game plays for newer players more than the old guard of people who have been playing Battlefield franchises... with the Battlefield franchise like me, I guess, since 1942. Right? It's not about taking your staples of what it was and expanding upon it. It's about making something new for newer audiences who are going to enjoy the game differently. So, yes, it is about kind of ostracizing players in certain ways. I agree with that. From what you learn from interviews with Respawn, EA is generally hands-off, but I'm pretty sure it also doesn't help that there are deadlines probably set by the publisher at some point. There has to be publishers. Publishers set, uh, for release dates at least. In terms of development process, I bet they are totally hands-off of that. That's, that's probably fine. I would agree with that aspect, but I bet in terms of release dates for games, they probably hand it to you and then say, you need a game by this day.
I imagine if you don't have that after a while, that can cause a lot of problems. Gee, Cozy, I don't know. You tell me, bud. <laughs> yes, am I the real one or the fake one? Or was I fake this whole time? Or maybe what you're living in isn't real at all. No, it's, it's me. Almost got me there, AP mine. Almost fucking got me. Get closer. Hit it for 98! Ooh, that makes me sour. Someone over here somewhere. Unless that was him. We have taken objective Anton. Said I will go for the flank. You're right, I do have a nuke. I need to nuke somewhere. I'll probably try Oh! I was looking at chat. I'll probably try uh somewhere. Like C. Or actually where would the rotations be? Fuck. We have almost won this zone Hey bud. Well, can't call mine in now. No, I can. This is going to come way too late. It's probably only one person for how slow it's going. Oh, it was two. I'll take two. It's fine. 47 tickets. Needed to be used anyway. MMGs everywhere. Ooh, we bopped that guy. Part of the club now? Yes, you are, Doctor <laughs> Doctor Waffles. You got gifted a sub, man. Congratulations. Excuse me. Got a butter knife for you.
Ah, uh, no one turned around to get that guy. That was so many people at the end. Only took a few years, but you finally made it. You're going to show your grandma. I'm sure she'll be proud. I'm sure of it. 